Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. In today's video, we will learn about subprocess module of Python. Using this subprocess module, we can call different processes of the operating system and different commands of the operating system. So I am using Ubuntu and I will be demonstrating using Linux commands how you can call Linux commands using this subprocess. The same code will apply to the Windows machine also. You will have to change the commands accordingly for the Windows. So I am using here Python 3.9 version. So let's get started. So I have created this demo project, one simple project for demonstration purpose in Eclipse. For those who wants to work with Python in Eclipse, uh, I have created an another video. You can check that video. So first of all, I have imported this sub process module. So we will be calling run method of the P. So this uh, sub process module provides us uh, this method run. So this methods uh, only need some commands or arguments you can see here it will be it will be taking arguments and some other variables you can set also in this function and it will work accordingly so first of all let us take an example to if i want to run a command say pwd which will print the current working directory if i run this so you can see in console the current working directory is this i am currently working in this so this is printed directly in the console and after that if i run another command let's say ls only ls so i want to see what are the files in the current directory so if i run this from the first command i have got this output and from second command i have this output in the console so let's try another command p dot run let's say i want to open or simply print the content of this test.txt so my current directory is here i am so current directory it is pointing to next rahul and this but i want to go back to this file and print the content of this file so what i will have to do dot dot and test dot txt so if i run this so you can see here is an error so what is the error it is just saying that no that no such file or directory so it is considering this whole command as one single process to execute but that is not the case in our case cat is the command and this is the argument so we will have to change it a little bit like this so we have to pass two arguments one is command and other is argument but we will have to pass it in an array to the run method so let's check again yes so you can see the content of the file is printed you can verify from the test.txt so it is same as here okay so after that let's say we capture the output of this run method to a variable say r1 and try to print it let's see what what is the output so you can see till now it is the output of line 5 which is run and after that it is the object of completed process 
in the object we have some variables arguments so arguments that we have sent to the command and return code is the return code from the process so completed process we got the completed process and in the completed process we did not get the output of the command but if we want to get the output so if i run this so you can see it is it has printed none here because output is directly going to the console not in this variable so if what if we want to set the output to this variable so what we will do we will write we will set the capture output equal to true so when this cat command will run it will capture the output so let's check it so you can see here output is captured but it is in byte format it is in bytes byte string so we can decode the byte and get the pretty output okay and after that we can also set this in we have another variable sorry this is not the variable we have another variable here if i set the text equal to true then it will get the output as a string so you can see we don't need to decode anymore now what if we change the file name but this file doesn't exist here let's see what will be the output so nothing is here but the problem is python did not throw any error so to do that what we will do we will set another variable here which is check equal to true so when we say check equal to true this run method will throw the error and you can work on the basis of that error you can capture that error and on the basis of that error you can handle your cases so let's run this and you can see it has thrown the error call process error because this is not found this file isn't does not exist in this directory so it is throwing an error and the return code is 1 after that we have another variable std err so all the errors will be redirected to this std err variable and let's check it it does not print anything because check equal to true is throwing an exception we will disable it and we will check again so you can see no such file or directory is the error which is going in this variable so so now what if we want to write this output let's say you are running successful command and you want this whole output to be written in another file to be redirected to another file so we have another variable here which is you will have to set std out and 
we will open a file say new file dot txt in write mode whatever will be the output it will be redirected and will be written to this text file because we have we have set this variable std std out and all the output will be sent to this file so let's run this so you can see std out and std arguments may not be used with capture output if you are using std out then you will probably you will need to delete it will not be capture output will not be explicitly set when std out you are using so if i run this so it is saying none none for the two statements of print we have written and if i check in this directory so new file.txt is created with the same content because what we did is just like copy the content to new file if i also want to send error to a new file say error file then let's say we will be having an error and set don't set it check equal to true we don't need it and we also don't need it and if i run it so it ran successfully and let's check our project yes error file is created and in that error is printed no such file or directory so likewise you can execute one shell script also for now we have this test.sh shell script and in this shell script we are just printing hello world so what we will have to do let's comment it and just call the shell script if i run it like this test.sh and we don't want this if i run it only then so you can see we are uh, we have an statement in the shell script which is just printing the hello world and the output is piped to this console if let's say if our shell is in interactive so if it is reading from the user an input and it is storing in a variable let's say a and uh, we want to say hello only so let's check it out what will be the behavior in this case so we we run the command and here it is expecting some input let's say rex so yes it worked so this was the basic demo of the sub process if you like my video please subscribe to my channel rex rahul Thank you.